Have you ever thought about how to create a budget? Welcome to Your Clear Think. I'm Roderick Mitchell, author of Credit Straight Talk, Clarity on the Conspiracy. This episode is part of a series designed to help you build a solid credit foundation. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to create a personal budget. The personal budget will be divided into three phases. This is phase one. The beginning of a budget is preparing your mindset to accept controlled, reduced, and managed spending. You can make the perfect plan in theory and on paper, but until you make up your mind to accept the change, you're just wasting time. You will be held accountable for every dollar earned and responsible for how it is spent. You must develop yourself a why. A why is a strong held reason or conviction for doing a thing until completion once the decision has been made to get started. Your why has to be what drives you to complete your goal. Take some time and think about where you want to be in five to 10 years in every area of your life, financially, spiritually, educationally, socially, and politically. Take a week, two, or even 30 days to think about all the areas I mentioned. And add to it, if I miss the area, that's for you. Once your mindset is prepared and you have made the decision to take on a personal budget, it will be time to begin. Remember this, don't worry about perfection. Focus on completion. Starting over is just realizing you need a do-over. Write down your goals for the next week, the next month, next six months, next year, next three years, even next five years. Your goals and a plan to reach them will give you a direction and let you measure your progress. Visualize your financial goal. Get a feeling of joy as you see yourself completing your goals successfully. It's time to begin the journey to freedom. Total up your income from all sources. Make sure you are not spending more than you earn. You ask, how can someone spend more than, more than they earn? It's easy. Credit cards, payday loans, loan sharks, Anything to cover the cash shortage, set aside for yourself a two-hour weekly self-examination day and time to review your past week's actions and plan the upcoming week's activity. Try to make your self-exam day the same day and time each week to build a pattern. Buy yourself a tablet or use an app on your phone to take notes, make lists, and store files. And I do mean a real paper $1 tablet. This process is going to be a multi-phase plan. You will have to gather, review, and manage your spending habits. On your first exam day, make a plan to record all of your spending for one week. Write it down or make a digital recording of the details as you go. Do not think a purchase is too small to record. On your next self-exam day, review what you recorded as your spending habits for that week. Repeat the same exercise again for another week, recording all of your spending. And on the next self-exam day, Review what you have recorded as your spending habits for the week. Now, for the third time, repeat the same exercise again for another week, recording all of your spending. Also, get a list of all the bills and expenses you pay monthly 
including the total amounts and balances due. Include everything you spend money on, regardless of how large or small. Have your list of bills and expenses completed by your next self-exam day. Record all of your information in your tablet or in your phone app that you collected over the last three weeks. Make a note if any of your items are repeated weekly. Make a new file with three categories. The categories will be must have, like to have, and luxury. The must have category includes food, shelter, utilities, clothing, and basic transportation. The like to have category includes cable TV, fast food, premium coffee, alcohol, tobacco, raffle and sweepstakes tickets, and media streaming subscription. The luxury category will include designer clothing, premium alcohol, high cost restaurants, gambling, high cost transportation, clubbing and partying, and your hobbies. Look at the list you made for your weekly spending, also your bills and expenses for the month. Decide how the items fit in your must have, like to have, and luxury category. Once you have them in the proper categories, review them again to further refine them to make sure they're really where they were supposed to be. Now, start your new plan and record your spending in your tablet and app or app for the upcoming weeks and record your performance and review it on your weekly self-exam day and make improvements as needed to help you along the way. Now, review your like to have and luxury categories again and make a list of the things you are willing to cut back or completely cut out to reach your goal. Refine this phase and get comfortable with it for a period of a few weeks. The goal is to cut back on luxury category items until you remove them complete. Put your new plan to work and record your spending in your tablet or app for the upcoming weeks. Review your performance weekly on your self-exam day when you can complete this phase successfully without remorse or pain. It is time to review your plan and decide when you are ready to move on to the next phase, phase two. Now, once you complete this, celebrate your victory and enjoy one of your old luxury items. On your next self-exam day, work on your list of goals, think about and record them during the upcoming week. Have your list of goals completed by the next self-exam day. Continue to monitor and refine your current plan until you have totally replaced luxury items. In this episode, I talk to you about how to create a budget. Remember to subscribe below and select the playlist to enjoy this entire series. I'm Roderick Mitchell, author of Credit Straight Talk, Clarity on the Conspiracy. Visit me at yourclearthinking.com and together we rise.